unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Good morning, everyone. Got sunshine today. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done, what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, we too may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So yesterday, I mean, we heard about St. Paul in Philippi, and now he traveled to Athens, which is really pretty far. Philippi is all the way on the northeast part northeast part and Athens down south more towards the west anyways he got there <laughs> I think he went there by boat but anyways here we go a reading from the Acts of the Apostles after Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said you Athenians, I see you in every respect. You're very religious. As I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, even discovered an altar to an unknown God. What therefore you unwillingly worship, I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything around it, all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, doesn't dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, because he needs nothing. Rather, he gives to everyone life, and breath, and everything. He made from the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth and fixed the order seasons and the boundaries of regions so that people might seek God and perhaps grope for him and find him. Though indeed he's not far from any one of us, in him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your poets said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but he now demands that all people everywhere Repent, because he has established a day which he will judge the world with justice 
Through a man he is appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff. Others said, we should hear, like to hear you a little more about this. So Paul left them. Some did join him, became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman called Damaris, and others with him. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him all you angels. Praise him all his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of his glory. The kings of the earth and all the peoples, the princes and all the judges, the princes and all the people, the young men and maidens too, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his majesty above the heavens and the earth. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from his faithful, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of his glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will ask the Father, he will give you another advocate this, to be with you always. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. When the, he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak of his own, he will speak of what he hears, declare you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because. He will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you, he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So although we're, uh, tomorrow's the uh, Ascension, um, and this is the Mass right beforehand, and this, the Ascension is Jesus, going to heaven, his last appearance as in, in a resurrected body. Um, and, uh, but here we keep focusing on the Holy Spirit and um, that's what we'll be doing and after tomorrow then we start the, the novena to the Holy Spirit, the first novena, each day praying uh, like the, the disciples and Mary uh, in the upper room for uh, nine days before the coming of the Spirit. So uh, we're uh, back to St. Paul <laughs> And uh, we read about this Areopagus. You always say, what's an Areopagus? You know, I had to look it up again. And, uh, and you know, you all see the big pictures of the Acropolis, you know, that big, in Athens, you know, the big mountain with all those wonderful uh, temples and, and uh, ru ruins. Um, and, um, but before you start climbing up there to there, you see this little hill and like you're like, we were in this like, you know, sidewalk waiting to go up to the air. Uh, Acropolis, but right over the other side was this little hill called the Areopagus. It was the Areopagus. And the tour guide said, hey, you, you want to go climb up there? And I don't recommend it because you got to climb all the way up there. So, but I, I did it. I went to the Areopagus. And 
and uh, it's just a little mob hill with a bunch of rocks. <laughs> a bunch of people taking pictures. But uh, what is that? And uh, it was a, a meeting place. It was part of the Agora, which is the whole marketplace with all of the things going on. And St. Paul, just walked around the whole Agora and he started observing things. And a lot of them, those places were little, you know, different kind of temples and shrines, beautifully ornated to different idols and gods. And then, but the Areopagus was, is this uh, a meeting place, uh, actually where a building inside where they tried murderers, which is kind of a weird place, but it seemed like there was some kind of group of people called the Stoa that would hang out outside and uh, discuss things as well, philosophical things. And so we walked around the whole area and there were saw these various temples and then I guess saw some kind of a gathering by the Areopagus and he started talking and uh, and you know about Jesus and you know he got over and said look you're very religious you got all these shrines um, and you guys are very beautiful artistic you're amazing artists and, and you know the Greeks would love their art um, and, and was you know like rocket scientists those days with regards to art and architecture and um, and philosophy and acknowledge all those things and said, but, but you know, God, he's not, you know, he's not physical, he's spiritual. And so you know, he doesn't need like an idol or all of that kind of stuff. And then, you know, he started talking about that and, you know, I love your beauty, I love who you are. And, um, but then he started talking about, but there's this guy named Jesus that came and he, he preached and he, he was the son of God and he rose from the dead. And now uh, that, that kind of uh, got him going, and most of them said, what, 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 what's this all about? And um, but they said that there's a couple of people, Dionysius and a uh, woman, the Demaris, and some other people. And uh, Saint Dion he became a saint, the Saint Dionysius, and uh, he left with Saint Paul, and um, there's the whole story about that. But uh, um, so they, there were a few believers, but uh, he just um, had the wisdom of. I guess left him hanging, I don't know, because he gave that speech and that's all he did in Athens, you know. Uh, big, huge city there and he, you know, went elsewhere, went to Corinth. But the whole thing that Jesus says again, talks about the Holy Spirit. And uh, he's going to teach you, he's going to guide you with all truth. He's united to me and the Father and he's going to take what I've already told you and declare it to you. And maybe, you know, they can help you understand it more. And so St. Paul, that's what he was doing, right? He was using the Holy Spirit. He was, you know, it's not just like, boom, he got inspired, you know, it's not like the Spirit went right inside him and boom, and he just spoke. He walked around, looked around, he prayed, he asked, what, you know, God, tell me what to do. And he like, took the people's circumstances and who they were, and then he, you know, said, talked about, eventually got to talking about Jesus through the power of the Spirit. And so whatever we're going through, we, we do then remember too, to, to look around, observe, think, pray, and then say, Holy Spirit, guide me in, in what we've got to decide or what we have to do or how we have to live. And again, in these unique times, we pray the Holy Spirit guides us in what we are to do, how we are to live. Let us bring before God the prayers of our faith today. Please respond, risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that the Holy Spirit to deepen our love and strengthen our relationship with him, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders and workers, may God sustain them in wisdom and understanding, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from addictions or dependencies, may God light be with them. Help them in their struggles, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our community as we prepare for the ascension, may God's grace continue to bring us confidence that he's always with us, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For as our, all of us, as we continue this time of adjustment in our life, we pray for businesses trying to restart, that God help them and guide them, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for businesses still closed, that God would open these doors and our governments and everything else would open doors and protect us from the dangers of this virus, we pray. 
risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to make ends meet, whether it be the people in the third war, war world, whether it be people in our own community, uh, we may the God help them and support them, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, they be in God's hands. In the resurrected Christ, who we adore and worship, especially during this Easter season, we especially remember today Jerry Kusel and all the faithful departed. May the rest in peace with Jesus, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For any like to voice at this time. We pray, risen Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, grant your grace. Surrounds us every day. We see you in everything you do and make and create. Guide us and help us answer these prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread, we offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands that become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, be pleased. We offer this sacrifice with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me my sin. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. O Lord, by this wonderful exchange, you have effected in this sacrifice, you have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. We pray, O Lord, as we have come to know your truth. We may make it ours by worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above to lodge you more gloriously, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all has risen. So, therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers, the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall. They become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he himself took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body to be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, by the help of your mercy. Always may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as you wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you and your spirit. We offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My Jesus, I believe you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. You are already here. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people as we pray, O God. Lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, so yes, uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock will be the live stream for uh, Ascension Thursday, a holy day. Um, uh, make a special day for you tomorrow. Um, consider how you can make it a holy day. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. God's blessings upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Of course, today at 7 o'clock, if you log in um, to the web page, you have to do it ahead of time. It's a Zoom call with the bishop. We'll be there. Oh, it's tomorrow night. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so jumping ahead. Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Uh, get still p p prepare for the Zoom call for with the bishop and go to the Dawson webpage or look at some of our things that uh, we have told you how to get signed up for that. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Have a good day.